I think you guys are really, really gonna love this treatment. This is everything. My hair feels so amazing. It's never looked better, never felt so good. Hey curl friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Proud Main. It's your girl Eva, your loyal curl friend, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this really super potent herbal hair tea or hair rinse for your hair. Another one. And it's such a great treat. It's filled and packed with great nutrients that is essential for growing your hair, for treating your scalp. But before we get into this video, I would like to take a moment to thank our sponsors for today's video, which is Skillshare. And if you don't already know, Skillshare is an online platform that offers an array of courses for creatives and lifelong learners. Some of the courses include illustration, photography, gardening, you name it, they have it. And you can do this all from the comfort of your homes. So if you're looking to start a new hobby or pursue a new career, you can begin that on Skillshare. And for my loyal curl friends, they have a ton of hair care courses. This course in particular by Charlene Rossiter is one of my favorites. It's comprehensive, it's short and sweet, and it answers a ton of hair care questions. As for me personally, I'm taking advantage of this culinary arts creative cooking course by Khalees. She shows you how to make so many different sauces and gravies for everyday cooking, and I'm obsessed with it. So if you're interested in becoming a member on Skillshare, I'm going to leave my code down in the description box and the first 1000 people to use my link or my code will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Let go. So to make our herbal hair tea, you wanna start off with hot water and you wanna use as much as it takes to cover the lengths of your hair. So if you have shorter hair, you don't need to fill your container or your bowl up um, the way that I am, but I do have pretty long hair, so I'm gonna fill it pretty much all the way up to um, coat the length of my hair. Our first ingredients that we'll be using is sage, and sage not only prevents hair loss, but it also helps to rejuvenate and strengthen the hair follicles, and the use of sage can actually boost blood circulation in the scalp, increasing the supply of nutrients to the hair follicles. The next ingredient is mint leaves, and mint is rich in antimicrobial and antifungal properties, which treats many scalp issues, especially dandruff. It reduces hair fall and hence promotes hair growth. It also helps to reduce breakage and gives your hair a natural shine. The next ingredient is lemongrass, and this is a powerhouse ingredient because it helps strengthen your hair follicles, which in turn helps to fight hair loss. It's a rich source of iron, and it helps in treating conditions such as anemia or other iron deficiencies that can lead to hair loss. And it also has antibacterial and antifungal and anti-inflammatory properties. The next ingredient is rosemary, and rosemary is no stranger to my channel. It stimulates hair growth by dilating the blood vessels and promoting cell division in the scalp, thus delivering the nutrients and oxygen needed for follicles to grow. The next ingredient is hibiscus and it's one of my favorite because it helps to revitalize dormant hair follicles. It helps to stop hair loss. It makes your hair look healthy and shiny. It also helps with premature graying and help to thicken your hair and add volume. The next ingredient is horsetail, another powerhouse ingredient. Because of its silica content, it is thought to improve hair growth, hair speed, and hair strength along with potentially reducing dandruff. Fenugreek is used for hair thinning and other related conditions such as dandruff or dry itchy scalp. There are also claims that it helps to grow thick and shiny hair and overall promoting healthy hair and scalp. The next ingredient is this dried amla, and this is great for conditioning your scalp, promoting healthy hair growth, it minimizes grays, it boosts volume, it reduces dandruff, and it's really great for um, improving the tone of your henna hair dyes as well. 
Next, we have cloves, which has high levels of antioxidants and nutrients that can add to the growth and strength of your hair. It protects your scalp from dandruff, which is a major cause of weak and thin hair. The next ingredient is stinging nettle and not only does it help in combating hair loss, it also helps in hair regrowth. Uh, nettle leaves are also rich in silica and sulfur. The sulfur will help to extend the growth phase, ensuring that your hair is longer and healthier throughout the, um, the cycle. And the silica will help promote hair growth and strengthen your hair and prevent hair thinning. And once all your ingredients have been added to the boiling hot water, you want to make sure that you give that a nice stir. Make sure all the ingredients are submerged underwater. And if you want, you can bruise some of these ingredients as you've seen me do in previous videos. You bruise them a little bit just so that they can release some of those natural oils and nutrients and benefits and that way it'll steep a lot faster in the water and you just want to leave this for anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes you can see that I went ahead and add also two green tea um, this is gonna help with um, hair fall and hair shedding as well these are great DHT blockers you can also use black tea or whatever tea you would like or you can skip it and just use the hot water um, it's it doesn't really matter um, but I added that green tea bag for extra benefits. So I went ahead and left it for um, 30 minutes and you'll see what that looks like. It's this nice, rich, um, pink, pink, can we say pink? Pink color, yeah. Um, it's just beautiful and it's so aromatic. You guys are gonna love the smell of this. It's not like an unbearable pungent smell or anything like that, it's really, a really sweet smell um, so yeah this is pretty much ready and good to go and I'm leaving it nice and warm um, before use so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna strain this and you'll see what that looks like after and you can go in with a finer strainer as well because I did have some little bits left behind but if you do have tighter uh, tighter coils or curls you want to make sure you get everything out of the water because they will get stuck in your hair I also added a splash of apple cider vinegar maybe a tablespoon or two uh, this is gonna help with um, any scalp issues that you might have as well to clarify your scalp and add shine and luster to your hair so I added a splash of that then I'm going to submerge my hair in this again this is warm water and I highly recommend that you leave this tea warm when you apply it to your hair, especially if you have low porosity hair because it helps the cuticles to open up a bit and allow um, the moisturizing ingredients to enter the hair shaft, which is exactly what you want. And you can see that I'm going ahead and massaging that in my scalp as well. And honestly, all of the ingredients help with scalp issues. And like I always say, you cannot grow healthy hair with trash scalp. So in everything that I do, I try to make sure that it helps with any scalp issues because that's the only way I'm going to grow my hair and maintain overall um, health, scalp health, hair health. It starts at the root. I also quickly went ahead and bottled up some of this because the tea is still clean because my hair was clean when it went in so I did bottle some up for future use. So after you're done making your hair tea and you rinse your hair with it, um, like I did in the video, I did put some aside to spritz my hair throughout the week when it gets dry, um, just to refresh my curls and things like that. So um, I also used it again to spritz my hair um, while I was styling it because it got a little bit dry. Um, but this is what it looks like at the end of my styling. You can see my curls look so juicy and so hydrated. And, I mean, look at these little ringlets. They're so cute. I'm obsessed with them. And, um, yeah, my hair feels so pillow soft. And I'm gonna upload a tutorial of how I style my hair if you guys are interested. I did get a few comments on what do I put in my hair during the week, how do I style it, things like that. So um, stay tuned for that video coming soon. So guys, that's it for today's video. If you found this at all helpful or informative in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share it with your friends. See you in another one. Bye!